Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm back in my normal setup. I'm back in London and I'm so excited about it. I love traveling and obviously I love visiting my family, but I always miss home so much. So I'm so glad to be back here with Dan in the flat and in my usual filming setup as well. So hopefully my filming schedule is going to be back to normal soon. I know it's been a little bit erratic, but I'm excited to kind of sit down and do proper videos again. So today's video is going to be all about my holiday looks. So I'm showing the outfits that I'm going to be wearing over the next couple of weeks to my kind of fancy event. So I always try and make an effort this time of year to really look my best and put a lot of effort in, especially because I don't always usually go to kind of fancy events. So it's nice to dress up when the holiday season approaches, I think. So I have five looks to share with you. So I have two skirts and three dresses and it's kind of a mix. They're all, they are all very dressy, so these aren't really casual looks, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to share with you because I picked up a couple of really nice dresses. So I wanted to share. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So first up is a skirt that I'm absolutely in love with. It's from ASOS and I think it's such a great purchase. I'd actually been looking for something like this in black for the longest time and I have kind of similar variations but nothing that quite hit the spot of what I wanted and then I saw this and I knew it was perfect. So I picked it up in black as well and I know I'm going to be wearing that year long but I thought this red one was just perfect for the holiday season. I'm planning on wearing this on Christmas day. I always prefer skirts on Christmas day because dresses sometimes aren't that flattering when you've had a big meal and I am planning on eating a lot on Christmas day so skirts are very handy for hiding food babies so I always try and go for a skirt because I still want to dress up but I don't want to be uncomfortable on Christmas day and I think this is going to be perfect so I'm very very excited about it it is quite long but that's what I wanted I didn't want something too short like kind of skater style I wanted this long midi look which I just think is a bit more glamorous and elegant kind of old school vintage if that makes sense and it's the perfect weight as well so I wanted something fairly heavyweight so it moved in the right way but I didn't want something super heavy that would be uncomfortable to wear or otherwise be unflattering because sometimes if it's too heavyweight it's going to add a lot of bulk and when you have these kind of really full skirts you don't want to add a ton of extra fabric and bulk because that can make you look bigger whereas this is the perfect combination so it's not lined but that's exactly what I want so I didn't want it to be too heavy but it does still have a nice weight too it so I thought this was totally perfect I was so excited about it as I mentioned I got it in black and red and I think it's a really great buy and a really nice option for holiday parties or just your own kind of festivities uh, you can wear this with a sweater or strappy top you know you can really dress it up and down as you want but I think it is a beautiful option next up is a self-portrait dress and I really only just got into the brand self-portrait and I feel like I'm so slow to jump on any bandwagon but now that I have I'm completely hooked they really are beautiful dresses and I'm sure lots of fashion people are gonna be like oh my goodness that's so last year or even the year before that but I love it and I don't really mind that it's not super trendy anymore these dresses are pretty famous they do them every single season and I think they have them in a beautiful blue this season as well and I just couldn't resist I thought it was so lovely I do have a skirt from them as well and everything is just so beautiful and really well made and you just tell the quality and the detail this dress is obviously quite a famous one but I'm excited to wear it in a few different ways so obviously you know you can wear it in a full cocktail style way but you can also team it with a biker jacket or a blazer or put a sweater on top so you just have this beautiful skirt detail as well with this lovely piece perfect so I'm really excited to try and style this a few different ways to really try and get my money's worth out of it because they are expensive pieces but I do think they're worth it they're really well made and I think the designs are just so beautiful and so unique Next up is a dress from David's Bridal and this dress was actually gifted to me. So I did a sponsored collaboration with David's Bridal. This isn't sponsored so I don't know if you guys know how sponsored things work but you have a contract and it outlines what you have to do and all that kind of stuff. I did that, that was a, my blog thing. Um, but I wanted to feature this dress because I actually really like it and this is what I'm going to be wearing to my Christmas party. So this isn't sponsored, they don't know I'm doing this but I was so impressed with the dress that I wanted to include it because I have something very similar that I bought from Topshop I think last year and I've never worn it and it's pretty much the same dress you know it's slightly different in a few details but it's the same kind of silhouette which is the simple black dress with a flippy skirt at the bottom and 
I love the style so I bought it and I, it was one of those ones which I was like you know if I lose just a little bit more weight or if I turn off a bit it's gonna look really good and I have lost weight since then and it still doesn't look good on me it's just not a flattering dress at all so I've never worn it this though is very similar and it's so much more flattering because it doesn't really hug on the hips which is what that one does so it kind of clings in all the wrong places whereas this skims over the hips which is what I want because I have bigger hips than I do my top half so I always take a bigger size on my bottom than I do my top and this just fits perfectly and it's so flattering and as I said it just kind of skims rather than clings which is what I think you want in a holiday dress but it's still figure hugging enough that it gives you a nice shape and silhouette so I'll insert pictures as well as hopefully model this um, but I thought it was such a great buy I didn't really know that David's Bridal did anything other than bridal wear but they do a whole huge collection and this is from Cheers by Cynthia Rowley and just such a gorgeous piece it is this kind of scoop material and so it's really it's a nice weight as well but it's not super heavy so just a really pretty one and I don't think you can go wrong with a little black dress you know it's quite simple and elegant so you can dress it up with you know a statement necklace or earrings if you want and it will just look good for so many years to come so next up is more of a flashy number and this is a bit more out there than I would usually go for but I tried it on and I just fell in love with it so I think this is going to be my New Year's Eve dress if I'm brave enough to wear it it's very va va boom so it's quite low cut and it is kind of midi length but it does have this slit as well so it's kind of sexy on both sides but I just think the fit is so pretty and I just really really love it so it is all over sequins so it's very shimmery and sparkly and I went for this kind of goldy cream color or I guess an off-white they do have it in other colors as well and this brand which is dress the population do do a few different types of dresses in the full sequin I thought this one was the nicest though and you know you do have the slits but it is a decent length so it's not too show offy I think um but I thought this was just really really nice I'm so excited to wear it a little bit nervous as well but I'm gonna have a glass of champagne to try and steal my nerves before wearing it but um yeah I'm really excited about it and I knew it was definitely a must have as soon as I tried it on and then finally my last dress is a little bit more fashion forward I guess so I think everything I've showed is fairly classic in the sense that you could wear this many years I think this is too but it is definitely more out there in terms of being quite fashiony and so this really reminds me of roller moray dresses which are obviously very very expensive this isn't nearly as expensive but I think it's equally dramatic in the way that it looks and the way it's cut so it does have this beautiful kind of fan effect on the neckline and then it almost has a kind Kind of peplum skirt but it's it's not so it's very architectural it's very nice and on the back it's just quite simply made and I saw this and just fell in love with it especially because I think it does really remind you of you know very very fancy designer dresses and it isn't a cheap dress but it certainly doesn't cost thousands of pounds so it's a really nice way of getting the look for less I guess but at the same time it's not a direct knockoff or anything it's you know definitely inspired by and I thought this was just very lovely the fabric is very nice as well so it is well made and I thought this was fashion forward but also classic in a sense as well so I'm very excited to wear this as well. So that's it for this video guys I hope that you enjoyed it I will leave links to everything I featured down below in the description bar and if you did enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up. As always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!